Ensign Kiska Lomar, personal log. Stardate 55316.7. What an interesting turn of events this has been. Not too long ago, we were cataloging gaseous anomalies in a backwater sector of Federation space. Now it looks like we're gearing up for another fight with the Cardassians. Our assignment has been playing out like a good mystery holo novel. I was surprised to discover that the destruction of Vesuvi was not a natural event. One thing's certain. With all the action we've been seeing, I don't think we'll be getting any holodeck time for a while. Incoming message from Starbase 12. On screen. Captain, other ships in the fleet were able to tap into one of the Cardassian communication arrays, which will allow us to monitor their transmissions. Long-range scouts have detected Cardassian activity in the vicinity of the Reha system. It is up to you to investigate the area and help uncover any Cardassian bases and fleets. Starfleet Intelligence hopes you will locate the Cardassian shipyards that are producing their supply of fresh ships. Destroy any other outposts you find. If possible, follow any Cardassian ships to help discover these bases. Once you are finished, return to Starbase 12 for a new assignment. Good luck. Liu out. Alright, hello everybody. Welcome back to Let's Play Bridge Commander. My name is Burning Earth Chris, and I'm going to be your pilot tonight. Uh, first things first. We got a dock, because apparently there's a giant hole in the uh, saucer section, so... Let's get that fixed, huh? <laughs> then we'll get on with our mission. I do have to admit, I really like seeing the docking animation like that. That's pretty cool. Good to see you again, Sovereign. Good to see you too there, schmuck. That looks better. Yes, sir. All right, let's go ahead and set course for Reha. Course laid in. Yes, sir. Captain, I have multiple contacts on sensors. Two Cardassian warships engaged with Draxon's ship, the Rancouf, and another bird of prey. I'm also picking up a convoy of Cardassian freighters making a run for it. Mr. Diaz, can you scan Initiating those freighters scan. and see what they're carrying? They're heavily shielded. If we can boost power... I'm sorry, Captain, they've gone to warp. Damn it. Nothing sir, new, sir. Multiple Cardassian ships warping in. They're targeting us Their top and the shield Klingons. has failed. All right. I'm going to take manual control this for this section. So I did do a... I did leave the AI to do uh, most of the combat in the previous episode, so I'll do it manually this time around. There goes one galore. Uh, there we go. Our attacks are draining the right shield. Has failed, Captain. Direct hits. The top shield has failed. Their left shield is draining, Captain. Target hull integrity at 20%. And you are out of here. Sir, we're going to hit. No, we're not. No, we're not. Sir, we are draining their top shield. Nice. We have collapsed their bottom shield. Bring us up, bring us up, bring us up. Ah, careful. Don't run into him. Hall 
integrity at 75%. Good. Sir, we're going to hit. Target hull integrity at 50%. Their hull is severely damaged, sir. We are being hailed. Whew. On screen. My thanks, Captain. These Cardassians were no match for us. But they distracted us from seizing the freighters. My apologies, Captain Draxon. We weren't able to get any useful readings from the freighters before they left the system. Yes, Captain? It was a glorious battle, nonetheless. Perhaps we will meet again. Kapla! Mr. Diaz, can you get a fix on where those freighters went? Yes, Commander. There is a faint warp trail. It leads to the Sevelry system. All right, let's go. Uh, where are we at? Yellow alert? Okay, good. Yeah, let's set course for Sevelry then. Course laid in. Aye, Captain. Engage. Sir, I'm picking up a Cardassian outpost along with some Cardassian warships. Captain? The freighters we were following just warped out. They've masked their warp signatures. I'm unable to track them this time. I'm also detecting another group of Cardassian freighters making a run for it. If we move closer, we can get a better scan this time. No need, Commander. These freighters aren't blocking our scans. They're empty. That's weird. Captain, they've gone to warp. Their course projects deeper into Cardassian-held territory, sir. Towards the Nepenthe system. Thank you, Ensign. We can track those freighters down later. The outpost is our immediate target. Sir, the outpost has detected us and is locking weapons. Uh... Your orders, sir. Let's try hailing them first. Hailing frequencies open. They are not responding. Of course not. It's like they're coming right at us with two galores right there. All right, uh... Well... Red alert. Let's, uh, let's deal with them. Well, let these guys come to us, because I don't want to get in range of the outpost weapons. Captain, we have collapsed their bottom shield. Good. Stay on them. Stay on them. Target hull integrity at Ah, careful. Target hull integrity at fifty percent. They're almost done. Target hull integrity at twenty five percent. Uh Sir, we're going to hit. Captain, we have collapsed their bottom shield. They're almost done. Bye. A little too slow on the uptake there. Shield. A little too soon on the uptake, I should say. Their bottom shield is draining, sir. Uh. 
Hang on. Uh, I'm on, get in range. Good enough. Captain, we have collapsed their bottom shield. Target hull integrity at 75%. They're not gonna last very long. Target call integrity at 20%. Whew, all right. They got the galores. Auxiliary power is at 50%. If I remember correctly, the outpost has pulse cannons and phasers, so better be really careful around that thing. But if we take out the power plant, yeah, yeah, if we take out the power plant, that thing should self destruct, so that'll be our main target. All right, plot course to intercept. Intercept course plotted. Uranus on the side. There we go. Main power is at 50%. Yeah, I hear you, Brex. Aft torpedoes, fire! <laughs> I've been waiting all LP to say that. <laughs> Well, apparently we took out their phasers, so that's good. I think we just camped this spot here. We should be able to stay relatively safe. Uh, there we go. Uh, orient myself here. There we go. Oh, I got torpedoes back. Let me see if I can... Uh... That thing's almost dead. Once the, Again, once the power plant's out, it should be good. And should be gone. There it goes. Move, 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 move. Whew. Sir, the Cardassian outpost has been destroyed. Incoming transmission on a Klingon frequency, sir. It's coded, unscrambling. It's Captain Corbus. Audio only. Hail, Sovereign. I am on my way to fulfill my debt to you. I have some important information for the Federation that you must hear firsthand. Rendezvous with my ship at the coordinates I am transmitting to you. And Captain, Your orders, sir? Don't keep me waiting. Coordinates received. Cancel They're red alert. They're in an isolated alert. area of the quadrant, Captain. 
the Belarus system. Well, Captain, what should we do first? See what Corbus wants, or go investigate the Nepenthe system? Well, he did say not to keep him waiting, so, uh... Uh... Course laid in. Yes, sir. Set course for Belarus. Oh, hi. You're being hailed. On screen. Greetings, Captain. I have come to pay my debt to you. My standing orders prohibit my telling you of the ship I found. I borrowed this vessel, the Mavjap, from a friend of my house to hide this meeting from the High Council. The information I give you must be kept secret, so I can only give it to you aboard your ship. The Mavjap is operating with a skeleton crew. I will require one of your officers to replace me here while I am aboard the Sovereign. I would recommend Lieutenant Savali, Captain. He has knowledge of Klingon technology. I agree. Felix, transport to the Mav Jop, and try not to eat the gawk. <laughs> yes, Commander. Corbus, our officer should arrive momentarily. Thank you, Captain. I will make certain he receives a proper welcome. Corbus out! What do you suppose he meant by a proper welcome? I don't know, but I'm glad I wasn't sent over. Felix is beamed aboard the Mav Jop, Captain. I wonder what kind of welcome he's receiving. What is going on over there? Felix should have reported by now. I do not think we have to worry. Corbus's mannerisms do not make me suspect foul play. Yes, and Klingons are generally not good at bluffing. We would have noticed something from his lousy acting. We are being hailed. On screen. Savali here, sir. I'm on board the Mav Jop. Captain Corbus is beaming over. Corbus is aboard, sir. Are you getting settled in over there, Felix? Yes, Captain. The crew here has given me a warm welcome. One has challenged me to battle combat. Another, a female, has begun courting me for marriage. Oh my god. Don't get too comfortable. Aye, Commander. Savali out. <laughs> I always knew Felix was a ladies' man. Ah, hi there, Captain. Greetings, Captain. It is as a fellow warrior that I come to you. The Klingon High Council has ordered me not to divulge this information, but you came to my aid in the Belarus system. A warrior's debt cannot be ignored. If the High Council hears of my treachery, I will be stripped of rank and my family will be driven from Kronos. I am inputting into your library computer what we have on the ship we encountered in the Belarus system. With this, we will track one of these ships down and burn it from the skies. Let us start the hunt, Captain. Battle calls! Captain, I have looked at the Klingon analysis. The warp signatures of this ship do not give us much to go on. However, after calculating the ship's last known vectors, the most likely place to find it would be in the Voltaire system. Shall I set a course, sir? Let's do it. Captain? Uh, for those of you who don't know, um, uh, Safi mentioned Gok. For those of you who don't know, that's, that's, uh, live worms. So, uh, yeah. Course laid in. When she says don't eat the Gok, don't eat the Gok. <laughs> Aye, Captain. Let's go. And the mob drop will follow us. And Captain Corbus will act as our tactical officer for the next mission, I believe. This will be fun. We should probably conduct a scan of the area and see if we can detect any residual traces. I was thinking the same thing. Initiating scan. Sensors are detecting several warp trails leading to Voltaire 1. I'm also picking up strange energy readings coming from that area. Okay, uh, let's set a course then. Your orders, Captain. Course laid in. Aye, Captain.
Captain, I'm picking up two Cardassian ships. I've isolated the source of those strange readings. It's coming from this ship, configuration unknown. Captain Corbus, is this the ship you detected? No, Commander. There are similarities, but this is not what we encountered. Then what is it? It is different. Does it matter? It will burn as brightly against the black of space. Intriguing. While I cannot get accurate readings at this range, the vessel appears to be quite advanced in its construction and use of technology. Whose technology? I cannot yet determine that, Commander. Perhaps we should ask them. <laughs> ask them, Captain? I suggest we destroy them! They're powering weapons and moving on an approach vector! We are being hailed by the lead Cardassian ship. On screen. This is Gull Oben of the Cardassian fleet. You have invaded our territory for the last time. You will die gasping for air in the darkness of space. Captain, I'm detecting signs that the alien ship is powering up its warp engines. This is an invaluable chance for us to learn more about this strange ship. We should scan it before it escapes to warp. Agreed. Uh, but first, uh, red alert. Red alert, shields up. All right, scan it now. Initiating scan. Sir, the vessel's hull is made of a material which interferes with our scanners. We will need to be within 50 kilometers to get a good scan of it. All right. Uh. Intercept course plotted. With dispatch, please. All right. Initiating scan. The alien vessel seems to be a combination of Cardassian and some alien technology. I'm getting readings on its engines. An unusual configuration. The warp coils emit a higher EM frequency than the Cardassians use. Captain, the ship is escaping at warp. Very interesting. It appears the vessel possesses technology to mask its warp signature. The bottom signature. shield is draining, sir. I will need some time to take readings and analyze the data. Quickly, if you please, Commander. We're not in a very good situation here. I take your point. These <laughs> Cardassians have a taste of battle. The battle shield has failed, Captain. Sir, we are picking up new contacts. It looks like two Cardassian galores have just come out of war. Oh, peachy. Not favorable odds for us. Chuck could run interference for us while we take care of the Keldons. That's not a bad idea. Sir, we Benson, are draining the them off shield. Off. We'll have them distract the Lords. That may buy us enough time to take care of the Keldons. Target hull integrity at 75%. I was thinking the same thing there. Uh... On screen. Lieutenant Savala here. What can I do for you, Captain? Lieutenant, we need you to distract the Galores for us. Can you do that? I understand, Commander. Savali out. Ah, torpedoes missed, didn't they? Yeah, shoot. The forward shield is draining. Uh, careful, 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 careful. Sir, we're going to hit. No, we're not. No, we're not. Though we did come kind of close. <laughs> There go the Kel and there goes one of the Keldons. Come on, get me in range.
You know, I will say, um, the whole thing with Captain Corvus taking uh, Felix's place aboard the Sovereign kind of reminds me of that episode of uh, Next Generation with where uh, Riker goes aboard the Klingon ship, and they both, uh, and it turns out both that Klingon ship and the Enterprise both had this, uh, um, was it a parasite that was eating at the hull? I don't remember all the details. I think the episode was called A Matter of Honor. It's, it was a second or first season episode, as I recall. Shield is draining, sir. The mob drop is taking some damage. Ah, shoot. Auxiliary power is at 50%. I hear you, Brex. Watch it, watch it, watch it! Sir, their aft shield is draining. Well, we got one torpedo hit in. their top shield. Target hull integrity at 75%. He's almost done. We have collapsed their bottom shield. Main power is at 50%. Target hull integrity at 50%. And you are out of here. Captain, my analysis of the vessel's warp signature is complete. This ship seems a radical departure from standard Cardassian design. I speculate they are borrowing technology from an unknown source. Stand down I am adding weapons. my findings to your ship's All stations, database for yellow further alert. reference. Sir, Lieutenant Savali is signaling from the mob job. On screen. That was some battle, sir. But I'm looking forward to sitting in my familiar seat at Tactical. I'm returning to the Sovereign. Commander, I'm receiving the censored records from the mob job. Anything we can use? Some interesting readings here. The hull of that ship was comprised of a silicone duranium base. A very unlikely combination. Can we track it? Not by conventional methods, Commander. The wake of subspace distortion it leaves behind makes it nearly impossible to follow. Captain Lieutenant Savali has beamed back aboard. Transporter standing by to return Captain Corbis to his own ship. It has been a glorious battle, Captain. I leave you now to rejoin my fleet and regale them with our story. Kapla, Captain. Captain Corbus is transported to the Mav Jop, sir. Captain, we should go to the Nepenthe system and continue our investigation. All right, we will then, but after only after stopping at Starbase 12 first for some repairs. Hey, Felix, good to have you back, buddy. Your orders, Captain? Cancel yellow alert. All right, let's set course for Starbase 12. Course laid in. Yes, sir. I'll see you guys in the next solar system. Alright folks, I'm back. 
On to the Nepenthe system. I have accessed Federation records on this area. According to a survey conducted by the USS Hawking, the region contains an extremely dense asteroid field, riddled with raw dilithium deposits that emit fluctuating radiation pulses. Sir, I had the freighters we were following near the planet. The ambient radiation from the asteroid field seems to be masking our energy signatures. It doesn't look like they can see us. Captain, I'm picking up multiple Cardassian warships entering the outer edge of the system. We won't stay undetected for long. It's a safe bet they're coming to rendezvous with those freighters. They'll be on top of us any moment now. If we seek cover in that asteroid field, we should be able to take full advantage of its masking effect. At least long enough to figure out what the Cardassians are up to. Good idea. Ensign, plot a course to navigate the asteroid field. Aye, Commander. Yes, sir. All right, let's head there. Uh, are we at green alert? Okay, good. Might not be a bad idea to power down all un unessential systems at the moment, too, so. We're in the safety zone. The radiation is masking our power signatures. Sir, the Cardassians just warped in. They are actively scanning the area. I recommend we cut power to weapons, shields, and engines to avoid detection. We'll be defenseless. We won't stay that long. If we're detected, it'll guarantee a fight, and we'll lose our chance to see what happens. They haven't noticed us at the lower power levels. Whew. What is that? Uh, Miguel, how about a scan? I'd love to, but there's a good chance it would give away our position. I'm picking up an encoded transmission on a Cardassian frequency. Intercepting. On screen. As you requested, Honorable Ambassador. What are the concerns you mentioned in your transmission? Kiss talk. Sesnag. The Universal Not Translator is having difficulty with the language. One moment. That's strange. Ensign, look at the signal packet from the alien ship. You're right. Captain, they are using a Cardassian transceiver. Implying there's some sharing of technology going on. I wonder why they aren't using their own transceivers. I have resolved the translator difficulties. It should clear up momentarily. Source. Kikar. Marsul attack. So Unacceptable. Our ships were met with an overwhelming force. The Federation is a cankerous blight, but it has more ships than we do. If the Kessok would build us more ships, we would have a far better chance defending your borders and keeping these insects out of your way. Our combined technology will completely overwhelm them. Single Cardassian Roshaga Kessok ships at full capacity. Shipyards cease the fleet in three more cycles. Excellent. On behalf of the Cardassian Empire, I thank you. With our races working together, we shall drive the Federation from the Quadrant. May I suggest... Galsek to Legged Matan. My apologies for interrupting, sir. Our sensors are picking up a Federation ship hiding in the asteroid field. Attack immediately. Apologies, Ambassador, but we must close this channel at once. Uh-oh. Galsek to all ships. Attack the Federation spies. Send them home as ashes. Cardassian Galore's moving on yes, an Captain? intercept course. Red alert, shields yes, up. Captain, yes, sir. The Kessek ship has gone to warp. Mr. Diaz, can you track them? Sir, Matan's ship has also gone to warp. I'm sorry, Commander. I'm having trouble reading their warp signature. Captain, I may be able to provide additional information if given more time to analyze their top shield. Has I think failed. I can hold them off for a little while, Commander. Captain, the freighters have warped out. 
Whatever we do, folks, we're gonna collide with a large mass of debris. We're gonna buy Mr. Data that time. Did he just run into the asteroid? Shield system has been <laughs> Beautiful. I have gathered all the information I could from their warp trail. It appears to be very similar to the trail we just encountered while scanning the alien vessel's warp signature. It also shares striking similarities with the strange target hull integrity at 25%. I have also concluded a subspace scan using the main deflector's enhanced gravimetric distortion package. Sir, we're Starkly going to hit. should be able to plot a search pattern and extrapolate the unknown ship's destination using the areas of distorted subspace revealed by the scan. I am relaying the data to Starfleet now. Captain, multiple Cardassian ships are warping in. I don't think we can win this one. Looks like we've done all we can here. Captain, we should return to Starbase 12. Of course, Captain. Their left shield is draining, Captain. All right, guys, I'm gonna try something a little, uh, a little unexpected here. All right, I don't have power to those stagers yet. Target hull integrity at 50%. All right, disable the tracker beam. Let's get moving. Watch, don't collide with the asteroid. Captain, we have collapsed their bottom shield. I'm going to try to take these guys on. Call me crazy, but I have an idea. I think I know... Uh, I think there's something cool that happens here if we manage to take them all out. I've only ever done this once, folks, so... I don't remember what happened, though. Ah, give me phaser range. There we go. Sir, they have hull breaches on multiple decks. That's exactly what I want. The hull is severely damaged, sir. There it goes, one of them. Let's see if we can get out of this asteroid field. This is too much of a hazard. All right, there we go. The top shield has failed. We have collapsed their bottom shield. Target hull integrity at 75%. power is at 50%. Sir, we're going to hit. Ah! Things scared me. Ah. 
sir. They have all breaches on multiple decks. Come on, we can do this. Their hull is severely damaged, sir. There goes another one. Next. All right. Loading quantum torpedoes, sir. Switch to quantums. Let's make this a bit more interesting. Captain, we're going to collide with that derelict. No, we're not. Shields are at seventy-five percent. Sir, we are draining their top shield. Their bottom shield is draining, sir. Captain, their attacks are draining our starboard shield. Where are those torpedoes? There we go. Now we're doing some damage. Fifty percent. Shields are at seventy-five percent. Come on, get me in range. All right, another one down. We got this, guys. Captain, we're on a collision course. Shields are at seventy-five percent. We got this. We got this. We got this. We are draining their top shield. Good. Collapsed, sir. Good. Come on, come on. Just gotta hold out for a little bit longer. Bottom shield is draining, sir. Target call integrity at 50%. We're in danger of colliding with another ship, Captain. Well, it's not much of a ship anymore. <laughs> There's two more to go. There we go. Come on, give me torpedoes, give me torpedoes. Ah, oh, okay. All right, well, at least we got rear ones. Good. Sir, we are draining their top shield. Integrity at fifty percent. Captain, we're going to collide with that derelict. No, we're not. Target call has been breached, Captain. Whew. All right, one more to go. Draining, Captain. Now it's an even fight. Their bottom shield is draining, sir. Target hull integrity at 20%. Sir, they have hull breaches on multiple decks.
All right, there we go. Switching to photon torpedoes, Captain. Now, if I remember correctly, secret quantums. All right. Loading quantum torpedoes. We got a full complement of quantum torpedoes stocked back up again. That's awesome. Switching to photon torpedoes, Captain. That was well worth the uh, extra 20 minutes that I took here to dog it out with these guys. All right, let's set course back to Starbase 12. Engage. Aye, Captain. We've done all we can here. Main power is fluctuating, Captain. We'll have to reduce power to some systems. Sir, incoming transmission from Starbase 12. On screen, Ensign. Captain, I'm pleased you were able to identify the aliens with whom Cancel the Cardassians red alert. are allied. We know nothing about this race, except that they are named the Kessok. Based on the information you gathered and other intelligence, we believe we have located a Cardassian shipyard in the Chambana system being used by the Kessok. This is deep in Cardassian-held territory, and we are taking a significant risk here. However, I believe it is imperative the shipyard be destroyed. You will not be alone. The Enterprise will join you in this attack. All right. Good hunting, Captain. You out. Sir, the Enterprise has just warped in. Message coming in from the Enterprise. It's Captain Picard. Hello, Captain. I was pleased to learn that you were given the Sovereign. From all I've heard, you earned her. I see you have Commander Data on board. I hope you're enjoying your assignment on the Sovereign Data. Very much so, Captain. Her crew is disciplined and well-trained, and her Captain is extremely competent. Ah, oh, shucks. I praise indeed, Captain. I hope you aren't trying to steal my officers from me. <laughs> we should get underway, Captain. Admiral Liu has cleared us to proceed directly to Chambana 1. I'll follow you in. The card out. All right. Yes, Captain. Um, I'll dock, and then we will see you guys next time. Thanks for watching, everybody. Sequence see you then. Initiated. If you like this video, consider becoming a patron on our Patreon, donating to us through Ko-fi or Streamlabs, or shopping in our Teespring. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and follow us on social media for more exciting updates. Thanks for watching.